Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris from PC Addicts. And not long ago, I finished this video series called Building the Ultimate Virtual Box, essentially designed to be just a test lab to for setting up domain controllers, you know, WDS and all kinds of different services and everything just to just to practice, to learn, to see what's the latest and greatest server out there and you know how to manage all these things. So I kind of wanted to revisit where I'm at with my virtual test lab and uh, show you guys what I have set up. So I have currently two base machines and again, those don't get powered on. Those are just used with all my linked clones down here. And um, what I have going on is a PFSense box. I got one domain controller. I got a second domain controller for failover. Um, and I'm going to be practicing maybe dropping both these off the domain, you know, cr just crashing them or just turning them off and see if I can bring up another one quickly and uh, how hard it is to um, make a new one become a domain controller uh, to test de disaster recovery. I got a DHCP server, it's just basic. Um, I like to split off my services uh, to different servers if I can. Uh, it just simplifies things and makes it pretty clean. So that's just providing DHCP. I got WDS, which is not configured and set up yet for a WDS server, but it um, that's going to be the Windows deployment server. I got SQL Server, which is configured. It is running SQL right now. Um, again, it's not doing a whole lot, but uh, it's it does have SQL running on it. A WSUS server, which is not configured yet. Um, these are going to be future videos that I'll be setting up, and I will be setting up another SQL Server later too for a video. But uh, yeah, this will handle uh, Windows updates for all our client machines, and then of course I got one Windows 8 client just so I can uh, test out like group policies and and uh, all the other good stuff. All these machines are configured for one gigs of RAM, uh, except for SQL, which is four. Uh, I have not seen any performance issues with any while I'm working on them. Well, let's go ahead and look at the host machine's performance graphs here and kind of get an idea of what we're, what we're running at. CPU, it's pretty low. Um, memory, I got about 14 gigs being used right now out of 32. Of course, the disks are fine, and then the Ethernet does have a lot of activity, especially if I'm doing a lot of work on the, these machines, but that's not a big deal. I'm not concerned with it. I haven't seen any kind of performance issues yet with any of these, and if I do, I'll just maybe bump up the RAM on it if I'm doing you know, some heavy stuff like maybe WDS. I'll probably give it another, another gig or so, but we'll see how that goes. SQL, do I need four gigs on it as of right now? No, but um, you know, depending on what what I'm going to be using the databases for, uh, it, it'd probably be a good idea to have some available RAM there. And uh, other than that, though, I just wanted to show you real quick what I had going on um, in case you guys are still interested in doing some other stuff as well. But, um, yeah, some future videos I'm going to be setting up um, WDS and WSUS. Now, WDS is going to be probably a few videos long. Kind of a big job, in my opinion. So to get it to work and to get it to work right and to understand how it works. But stuff like WSUS is going to be pretty simple. Um, and then, of course, we'll do a lot of group policy stuff with the new Windows 8 machines. And uh, we'll see what happens. All right, guys. Talk to you later.